G'day everyone, Mike from the gym here. Um, we're just leading into week three of the challenge, so here we are on Saturday Arvo just putting together the demo video so everyone understands what is required on week three. Um, you'll see that my shirt is ridiculously sweaty. We're having some, uh, some technical problems, so I feel like I've been doing these demos for the last hour and a half now. I don't think it is, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll try and get through this and hopefully this one works. Rightio, this week we have a split circuit. We've got some barbells, kettlebells and body weight all in one circuit. Unlike the last two weeks though, we're going to go through this circuit twice. The barbell exercises are only six reps, just six of each exercise. So when you do them, I'd really encourage you to get a nice big fat heavy bar. Um, if you want to stick with the circuit bars, that's fine, but just remember, it's only six reps of each exercise and you really need to push really hard in order to get out of this what you want. So if you want to try and start amping things up, if you normally use a 10 kilo bar, don't go for 15. I'd actually encourage you to try and go for 20 kilos with a couple of these exercises and just see how it feels. Drop back to 15 if you need to. Um, you'll see I've set a 60 kilo bar up here and for a lot of the guys doing this challenge in particular, this sort of weight will be perfectly fine. The kettlebells, I'll just go for 32, that should be fine as well. So boys, go with a brown one, it's only 15 swings. Girls, I'd encourage you to try an orange or a yellow at the very least. Rightio, the exercises are, we start with front squats, power cleans, then push press. We then put our barbell down, grab our kettlebell, 15 kettlebell swings, pick the barbell back up, six bent over rows, and then we'll do 10 burpees before we repeat the circuit. So, with your front squats, again, we do these in the classes all the time. Elbows nice and high. All we want to do, squat down, stand up, hips forward at the top. With the bar, it's going to sort of look like this. Front rack position, hands under the bar. Notice I've only got a couple of fingers under, that's all I need just to support it. It's better for my wrists that way. All the way down, all the way up. If you're having trouble with your wrists and holding your elbows up and you want to go to a crossover group, that's fine. Hands over the top like so. The bar will sort of stay there if you've got your shoulders up nice and straight. From here, same motion. All the way down, all the way up. Keep those elbows up throughout the motion. Second exercise is power cleans. As we pull the bar, we want to make sure our elbows stay nice and close to our body and above our body, above the bar. Our bar comes straight up. What I want to see you avoid is a situation where you pull and then bring the bar out that way. The bar must stay close to your body, much safer for your back. Drop your elbows under the bar at the end. Looks sort of like this, set up like a deadlift. Pull nice and hard. Elbows up. Again, making sure that elbows stay above the bar. Pull nice and hard. Elbows up to finish. Third exercise, push press. Again, feet a bit closer together. Slight dip, drive all the way up, head through elbows or elbows behind ears, whichever way you want to think of it. Make sure you finish nice and tall. Barbell up. Elbows up nice and high. Feet a bit closer together. Dip and drive. All the way up, just to show you again. Dip and drive. It's six reps of each of those exercises, guys. From there, pick up a kettlebell, 15 swings. Try and really make sure we're swinging all the way to parallel. A couple to start us off. Make sure when you're doing your swings, Really drive with your hips, make it about your hips, not about lifting the kettlebell. Right, next exercise, we'll just sort of get side on, bend over rows, slight dip in the knees, hinge at the hips, bar comes into your belly button, barbell up first, slight bend in the knees, dip through the, or hinge through the hips, all the way up to the belly button, elbow stay in nice and tight, 
and finish with burpees. When you do your burpees in slow motion, it's really to focus on doing these properly. Hands to the ground together, legs out together, push up, knees up, jump and clap. If you're doing a push up on your knees, that's fine. Still, hands down, legs out together, knees down, chest to the ground, jump up and clap. In normal speed, obviously, down a lot quicker if you feel like it. Chest still touches the ground. Just like that. Again, the rep count is six reps of each of the barbell exercises, 15 kettlebell swings, 10 burpees. Once you finish your burpees, go back to the start, do it all again. Now, with the cardio stuff, it is either a double bin run, from the bottom of the driveway, all the way around the bollard, back and around again. Finishes at the bottom of the driveway. Really focus on running all the way, just keep your legs going. Really focus and concentrate, you can make it. Take you somewhere between, I don't know, four and five minutes, if you just stay focused and just keep your legs moving. If you don't want to run, there's a bike alternative. It is three kilometers on the bike, gear 16. Now. As long as you keep your pedals going at about 90, 95 RPM, you'll finish in around about 6 minutes 15, 6 minutes 30. So the bike's a bit longer, that's okay. Three kilometres is what we're going to do. Now, with the cardio, or sorry, with the recovery challenge, similar to week one. In week one we did, did our stretches at the end of a class, then walked, then did the stretches again. This week we're going to do the stretches at the end of the class, walk a bin run, get back, when we get back, we're just going to spend five minutes on a foam roller. Now, I'll send out a link for some foam roller exercises for you guys who are unfamiliar with that. There's some foam rollers out the front of the gym or bring yours from home or whatever it is that you feel like you need to do. Um, there's only four rollers here, so we've got 20 people trying to roll at a time. It might not work out. So if you do have one, just chuck it in your bag and bring it along. That's it. Good luck with the challenges for week three. Good luck with your food. Stay focused and committed, and I'm sure you get some great results. Cheers. See you in the gym.